Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up multiplayer for session skateboarding using Steam Remote Play. As of patch 0.0.03, the developers have implemented multiplayer support, but the catch is you have to use Steam Remote Play and the only mode available at this time is a game of skate. For those who don't know what Steam Remote Play is, it is a function within the Steam app that allows you to host a Remote Play supported game from your PC and then your friends can remotely connect to your system to play that game. Your friends don't even need to own the game in order to play. Now this is a generic way of doing session multiplayer at the moment, but it does allow us to see where the game is heading all while having fun with friends. Alright, to set up Steam Remote Play, just right click on the Steam icon in the bottom right hand corner of your taskbar and then select settings. Now click on Remote Play and you want to check Enable Remote Play. If you're hosting the game from your PC, then click on Advanced Host Options. Here you can uncheck Play Audio on Host. This option doesn't seem to work properly or was only meant for Steam Link devices. In-game audio should still stream to your friends' PCs, but if they're unable to hear any sound, you can go ahead and enable this option. If your clients still can't hear any sound, then you need to go to the Sound Control Panel in Windows and make sure you're using the same sample rate and bit depth for all of your sound input and output devices. This is a known issue for Windows apps. Check desktop resolution to match streaming client and check dynamically adjust capture resolution to improve performance. If the host PC is using a higher screen resolution than the client PC, these options should help to automatically downscale the stream resolution to match the resolution of the client PC to keep things running smooth. Uncheck use NVFBC capture on NVIDIA GPU. If you have any stream issues, you may want to enable this for older graphics cards. Check Enable Hardware Encoding. This enables features such as NVIDIA's NVENC Video Encoder on newer NVIDIA graphics cards, so the GPU workload is taken off the CPU for a smoother streaming experience. If your clients are having issues with stuttering or jittery playback, you can disable hardware encoding to see if that helps. Just note the CPU will be heavily taxed with hardware encoding disabled. Under number of software encoding threads, you can set this to automatic. You can go ahead and check prioritize network traffic. This should dedicate more bandwidth to Steam Remote Play if you're downloading something in the background or watching YouTube on the host PC. Now if you are a client PC, you'll need to set up the client options only. Here you can select the quality of the stream depending on your internet connection. You have fast, balanced, and beautiful. Fast being the worst quality and beautiful being the best quality. I found that these options don't impact video quality that much, so I leave this set to balanced. What does impact video quality of the stream, however, is the advanced client options. So go ahead and click on advanced client options. Under limit bandwidth, change this from auto to 10 megabits per second. If you leave this set to automatic, the bandwidth will fluctuate depending on your internet connection, causing pixelated video quality and sometimes drop frames. What you want to do is set this to 10 megabits per second so that you will receive a fixed stream download rate at all times which will increase the video quality. If you experience drop frames here, try lowering the speed to 5 megabits per second. Anything lower than this will be unplayable in most cases. Next you want to set limit resolution to 1080p. 1080p will give you the best looking stream quality. If you are experiencing drop frames or jittery playback, then 900p is another good option. If your system can't handle 900p, then you can go to 720p, but the image quality will look downscaled and blurry. Speaker configuration can be left on auto detect. Under performance overlay, this will give you a network connection status indicator at the bottom of the screen. If you don't want to see the indicator, you can choose disable. Selecting icons will give you a network icon that will change from red, yellow, or green depending on the connection speed. I select details so that I can see the extended network connection info of the stream. And lastly, make sure you check hardware decoding so your GPU can take some of the workload off the CPU. 
You can try disabling this if you have further issues. Now click OK and OK again to exit Steam settings. All you have to do now is launch session. With the game up, hit shift tab to bring up the Steam overlay. And then right click on the friend you want to invite and select remote play together. Once the invite has been received, all your friend needs to do is just click play game to launch the stream. Now you can shift tab again to exit the Steam overlay. Press the start button and go to experimental. Select game of skate and choose the number of players. The current maximum is 4 players. Now you can hit A on your controller to lock in as player 1. Then the client can hit A on their controller to lock in as player 2 and so forth. I'll be playing solo in this example so player 1 and 2 will be the number 0. Now hit A to confirm and select play. And that's pretty much it. Now you'll be able to take turns playing a game of skate. Now session multiplayer over remote play is still experimental so there are bugs. Once in a while the game may crash with a fatal error pop-up message. Sometimes the previous player's input will stick after their turn is over. For instance, if the previous player holds the turn button down after completing their trick, the next player will be stuck in a constant turning state while on their board. To fix this, players can do two or three reverts to stop the turning, or you can try jumping off your board, or hitting the start button to pause and unpause the game. If the host minimizes the game during a client's turn, they'll get a standby screen which will probably mess up their turn. When playing with 3 or 4 players, the bandwidth and quality of the stream seems to downgrade as well. You want to make sure the person hosting has a good PC with high internet bandwidth. Well, hope this tutorial helps you out. Please like and subscribe for future updates and thanks for watching.